What is happening? I'm in 64, Josh, and this is another Nintendo news minute, kind of. I don't know. We're just going to talk about, we're going to talk about 35th, Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary. And we're going to talk about the 3D All-Stars collection. And is it worth the 60 bucks? Is it worth the 60 bucks? So let's see. I, I'm doing this live, twitch.tv slash n64josh. I want to see what, I want to see what chat has to say. Uh... Dragoon says worth 60. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Brit says I'm totally fine with paying 60. I've never played any of them before, so I'm basically getting each game for 20. That's worth it, honestly. Okay. There you go. Uh, the hype is with the price tag. Okay. Goji says yes. Yes, definitely worth the 60. Okay. Here's my thing with this. I'm going to buy it no matter what, right? I'm... I'm huge mario fan always have been always will be and i i i look at this game and i'm like okay the first time all stars came out it was essentially the very first time that we had a remaster uh of a game like we got to see super mario bros one two three and lost levels all remastered to look more like super mario 3 slash super mario world and then put you know basically they were 16 bit they went from being 8 bit to 16 bit so so a, a, a remaster if you will now we get 3d all-stars right 35th anniversary and there's not much happening to these games other than some widescreen support in galaxy and sunshine but 64 really there's there's nothing there it's it's still you know four by three and so it's not like they're not like hd remakes or, or or remasters really it's just kind of like they just ported them over so i've seen some people say it feels like it feels like a lazy like like kind of like a lazy port you know on, on nintendo's part and so i know for me personally like i would have loved to see these games really receive that that hd remake i mean we got teased in odyssey in the last level by seeing or you know the last the last world if you will seeing peach's castle and it looking like it did on the 64 i mean that game again it, it, odyssey was like a love letter to to mario fans for sure but i did feel like it kind of gave us that taste of like man they could they could make 64 kind of look amazing and we've also seen we've also seen people take this game and or take 64 and do it put it into the unreal engine and it also looks really amazing like really really good and so it seems a little bit like a missed opportunity for them to to have taken that that the 64 look that is i mean at the end of the day it's not great and then turn it into something that was that was amazing. Galaxy, Sunshine, they both came out in an era where games were starting to look look really good. They still could receive uh, an update for sure. You know, better lighting, better shadows, all that kind of stuff. But we're not seeing any of that. And so I'm asking, I'm asking chat, I'm asking you guys in the comment section. What do you think? Worth the 60? Does it feel lazy? Are you excited that it's just the way it is? Or would you have liked to have seen everything, you know, HD, looking a little better? I mean, I recently played through 64 for the first time, and the camera's, it's kind of brutal at times, you know? I mean, it was the, this was like your first 3D adventure, and so, the, I mean, it was, it was Uncharted Waters. So, Going back to it, it's like sometimes it's not it's not the it's not the greatest, you know. It isn't. So um here's Super Nintendo that says, I feel like a hypocrite being bummed out that these are all kind of ROMs. I was hoping for them to be so much more with these games, but having said that, the game is already on my Switch. Right. Like I said, I'm purchasing this game. There's no question. There's no question. But I have such fond memories of playing the first All-Stars, going back and experiencing all, like, 
I loved going back and playing Super Mario Brothers in All Stars just to see how they had updated all the levels, to see, you know, how they added the, the different details that they added. And and that was part of the fun of, of re-experiencing those games again was getting to see what they looked like in 16-bit. And so that's what I feel a little bit like we're we're missing. I can pop all I have all the systems, and I know not everybody does, but I can I can play all these games right now. On my GameCube, on my Wii, on my Wii U. And they're gonna look pretty much the same. There's gonna be there's gonna be a little difference, but not not much. And that that same magic that I experienced back on the first All Stars game, I was really hoping to be able to see in in 3D All Stars also. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Dragon says I'm not too crazy about playing Mario 64. I feel like uh, that one has been released enough. But Mario Sunshine and Galaxy are both really good games, and to be honest, would pay sixty dollars just to replay Sunshine. That game hasn't been accessible to me for a long time. And that's absolutely right. And that game, the, to to repurchase that game on GameCube now, the price tag is is relatively high. It is relatively high. So that's uh, that's that's something to consider when it comes to the price of these games. Um, Christian says Nintendo can do a lazy port because they know you're going to buy it. And if you were skeptical that it being limited would have pushed you over the edge. Yeah, and we're going to do another video about that talking about just the this game being being limited. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what do you think? Is it is it a lazy port? Are you excited to have it the way it was? Would you have preferred it, you know, HD remaster? Would it feel like it was more worth the $60 if it was in more of an HD remake versus just these three ports put together? We're getting amazing games. We're getting hours and hours of gameplay, especially if you try to collect everything. So there's there's definitely value there. I, I don't want to I don't want to sound like I'm saying there isn't any value there. There's there's most definitely value there. It's it it's just for me. I would have loved to experience, especially 64, in in an updated style. I wanted to see 64 become a a DLC for Odyssey, that we would just get to play 64 with within odyssey and it looked like odyssey with with the graphics you know at that level that's really what i was hoping so uh so there we go let me know what you think in the comments and uh we'll see you in the next video bye now